Quick disclaimer, when you drive these electric scooters, make sure you wear a helmet or all the safety regulations that are needed in your country. In my videos, I'm not wearing a helmet, which is not good, but it was done in a safe environment, they say. But hey, it's for the video, uh, so wear a helmet if you use electric things, because it's very dangerous. People died with electric scooters, but they're fun, but people died. So wear a helmet for your own safety. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sam from the Red Ferret and before we start this video I want to ask you to subscribe down below to stay updated on our latest, greatest, most awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with the video. Right, so this is the 9Bot ES1 electric scooter. So I've reviewed an electric skateboard in the past or something you put on a deck and then it transforms your deck into an electric skateboard. That was pretty fun. This is the first, the second time I'm actually reviewing an electric scooter. But it's the first time I'm actually reviewing something where you stand up. Uh, the last one I reviewed was something else. Uh, that's where you had to sit down and then you could drive electric. Uh, you can see that video over here. But this uh, is a scooter where you stand up. It's from Ninebot, of course, from Segway. And you push the button and you go forward. It's as easy as that. So this is a big thing, as you can see. It's... Um, Pretty heavy, uh, we're going to talk about that as well, but uh, I want to start talking about the build quality on this thing. So it has a full metal or aluminium, I don't know what it's called, uh, body over here, which contains all the electricity things and the motor on the front wheels, as you can see. Oh, here, that's the motor over there. Oh, so, oh that, that was on my foot. Oh. Oh. So yeah, it, it also has a stand. Over here, as you can see on the bottom. Oh. But yeah, it's very durable. Uh, as said, full metal aluminium body. Um, it has the uh, soft cushioning on the handles over here. A small LCD screen, LCD screen on the top. And then charger port over here. And then the uh, thing to put your feet on is made out of some kind of cushioning so you don't slip away, which is of course great. The wheels are made of some kind of uh, hard plastic, which means if you drive over something which could flat your wheels, uh, you won't get flat tires. That's also a negative thing we're going to talk about in this video, but you can't get any flats with these wheels, which is great in my opinion. Some things could be a bit better, I think, like the charge port is, is flimsy, it, it doesn't stay in there. And this thing to hang something on, I have actually no idea what it does, uh, that's also a bit flimsy. And the side things that come out over here, I don't know why they actually come out. Uh, but they tend to stick out from themselves, which is not that great, but uh, these are minor issues. So I've already talked about the wheels, the back wheel, as you can see, is completely uh, empty, so there's nothing in there, it's just a wheel, and the front wheel is uh, completely full, because the complete motor of this thing is in the front wheel, so it might get hot uh, if you drive it for a long time. I didn't really notice it getting hot after driving it, but it means that it's front heavy. It's not really an issue with it when driving, but when you try to carry it around and take it up, oh, this is this is very heavy. This is very heavy. Trust me, um, I'm strong and and that's heavy. But it's pretty easy to fold up. So you just put your foot on the bottom, and it folds up like this and clicks on the bottom, and then you're done. So if you want to fold it out. You just do this and it's folded out. I've already talked about the weight and the weight for me is a bit of an issue because this is very heavy and it's very weird to grab and to walk around with because you don't really have a good way to walk with it. You have to walk via the front wheel or the back wheel and then you, you take this but then it falls over. So uh, it's heavy, it's, it's not easy to carry around, but those are minor things compared to the fact that you can drive with this thing. And driving with this thing, well, that's pretty fun. Um, I, I love driving with electric things, electric scooters, electric skateboards, electric cars. Um, and this, as, I, as I've said, was the first time I've actually tried an electric scooter where you have to stand up. And it's very easy, you just push and when you go three miles an hour, you can uh, push the gas pedal and then you go forward. You have a sport mode, you have a normal mode and you have a safety mode. A uh, sport mode has a bit more throttle, you don't really feel it, but you can go up to 20 km or 25 kilometers an hour, 20, 20 kilometers an hour, something like that. 
um, and then the normal mode is of course regular and then you have the safety mode which means that you can uh, put a safety in the application which I'm going to talk about soon and then you put a safety margin which means that you can that this thing for example only can drive 10 kilometers an hour when kids are driving because I've used this with kids and they could easily use this uh, at 10 kilometers an hour 20 is way too fast for small small kids but at 10 it's easy to use and it, it's safe as well so this thing is very nice to drive with although it doesn't have a lot of suspension so uh, the small suspension thing on the bottom over here which should get your your feeling better when when you drive in pits or how do you say it in english uh, it's not that good <laughs> to be honest when you drive in a pit you, you you're going to feel it in your knees um, it does not have a lot of uh, suspension uh, when driving in pits or other small bumps or stones and all that. But hey, um, yeah, it, it's also because of the wheels. The wheels are hard, of course. Um, these are not soft wheels. You also can't get any flats with these wheels, which means that these can't be pumped up or something to get more suspension. So that's a negative thing when driving. Okay, the brakes. So there's an electric brake on the front and rear and there's one on the back where you have to push your foot down on the brake so you can brake manually. They both work very well, maybe the front brake you have to get used to a little bit because I've let other people drive this thing and they felt like the front brake was a bit too stiff but you also get software updates which mean that the front brake uh, will get better over time uh, if it's really necessary but it's something you, you need to get used to if you're driving this thing. I'm actually doing an update right now of the braking system. It's a master control firmware which means that the braking will feel better after this update. So that's actually pretty nice that they do these updates. So I've already done a total distance of 91 kilometers. This is how much miles that is. Uh, so that's a lot in my opinion after a couple of weeks. And I got one time that the battery was, was dead after I think you can do 25 kilometers in total but after 23 or something the battery was dead so it, it only had a little bit if you pushed it and you could a little bit then you could go a little bit and then it, it was down again so um, you ha I had to push myself and I have to say I, I was very impressed by the fact that you can just use this as a step. Uh, so not an electric scooter but as a step without being electric because it, it doesn't have any dragging in the front uh, on the on the motor which is great you do have dragging when uh, it's turned on and you want your energy to recuperate then you can use this but um, it's not on when the battery is down yeah that was a difficult explanation sorry I just wanted to say that when you do it manually, it's actually very nice and it works very well. The battery life is as advertised, but it really depends on what weight you put on the scooter. Uh, for example, I can drive the scooter easily for about 25 kilometers, while a friend of me, which weighs more than me, uh, only has 20 to 23. Um, so it's really depending on the weight you put on it, but I should say you regularly get it around 20 to 23 kilometers uh, in total with this scooter on the full charge. Well, how easy is this thing? Well, I've said that I've let little kids drive it and it's as easy as that. You just hop on, put it on and drive away. It's, it's really that easy and it's really that safe. So it's a lot of fun, you already know that, but there are two really main things I've already said that really bug me out. This is very heavy, very stupid to carry around, like extremely stupid, I, I have no idea how you carry this around. And it's too big to fit in a regular car. This doesn't fit in my trunk when it's folded. I drive a Volvo V40 and that's pretty standard, it's not a small trunk, but not a very big trunk, but it doesn't fit that trunk. So I have to put it on my back seats, which is not a problem for me, but if you have people around with you, uh, you can't put it on your back seats, of course. So yeah, that's an issue, but we can't really change anything about it because that's the size of this thing. I've talked about safety at the beginning of this video, so you need to wear a helmet, kneecaps, elbow caps, all those things. Is this actually safe? Well, it is. Um, it doesn't really have a very high kick to it, so if you start, you start slowly in a normal mode. Um, I've tried electric skateboards, which were like and if you press the brake, it's like and it's done and you're off your skateboard and the skateboard is standing still. So uh, that's not what this thing does. This actually brakes very uh, nicely with a bit of a run out, which is nice. And uh, you have the front light, of course, over here, which I can turn on probably. If I just do this, yeah, okay, as you can see, so the front light uh, works very well, it's very bright. 
Um, and you have a back reflector and on the sides you have a reflector as well. So that's very safe and the kids mode or the safety mode uh, as I already said, which is safe as well and very handy when you want someone to try this thing out and not go full speed. Alright, so a short talk about the app. So it uh, connects immediately with your Segway 9 bot. You have the remaining mileage, uh, 34% uh, battery life left. Um, so 91 kilometers in total, 27 uh, degrees temperature. The remaining mileage, that's something weird. Um, it says zero, but it's a lot more. But hey, that's maybe a bug in the app. You can set your energy recovery level. Um, it's weak right now, which means that it will recuperate a little bit of energy, but not a lot. But if you put it on medium or strong, you'll have a bit more friction as well on the front wheels. So I suggest putting it on weak or medium, depending on how far you have to go. You also have the cruise control, which you can activate when you keep pressing the gas button, which is great. And then you have some other settings like the speed mode, the limited mode and uh, vehicle information as well, which is great. So they also push regular updates to get this uh, software on this device even better, which is also very nice of them and very kind. And it also makes sure you have a better experience with this scooter. So last thing before we round off this video, the price of this thing is 450 euros, which is about, I think, $470, something like that. That is really not cheap, to be honest. But this is an electric scooter. So if we go looking at Xiaomi scooters or even boosted scooters which are new, the prices are even higher or really the same. This is a professional, very well built and supported scooter. Um, it's um, compared to other scooters from Banggood, Gearbest, which cost around 200 to 150. Uh, this is um, quality wise way, way better and way safer. Uh, on the cheap scooters, you'll have issues like uh, the braking system being very, very fast in braking. I've had the issue with a Chinese electric skateboard where the wheels would go very fast and when you press the brake button, they stop immediately, so imagine going full speed, press the brake and you stop immediately, like you're, you're thrown off your skateboard immediately. And that's the same with uh, electric scooters which um, cost a lot less than this one. They get very hot as well, uh, the cheaper ones, they're not that durable, they're not that handy and they are not that safe. And safety is number one priority, I think, for uh, using an electric scooter. Uh, you can, of course, have your helmet, you can have your elbow and your knee pads, but if your scooter itself is not even safe, then you really need them. And that's not really what we want. Uh, the, the, this is second grade protection, this is first grade protection. Your scooter have to, has to be good, has to be safe, has to be protected. And then you won't need it, you won't even need a helmet. Um, so if you have to depend on your helmet to be safe, uh, then it's not a good scooter. That's really what I wanted to say. So that's the difference in price. You get a very professional, well-made product compared to products that are like uh, 200 euros cheaper, but are way less safe and are not as good as the Segway. So overall, very great scooter, very great experience, really enjoyed it. I'm going to uh, keep using this to drive around a little bit. I'm also going to try to do a very long drive to really test and see the maximum capacity of this battery. By the way, you can also uh, use an extra battery which, can you, which you can clip on on the scooter itself, which will increase the maximum kilometers and the maximum kilometers an hour you can drive with this thing as well. So uh, that's very nice. It's not cheap, but um, you can use it if you want to use it, for, for example, for a daily commute. The charging time on this device is also very fast, so if you have a flat battery, you don't have to wait very long to get back up and running. So yeah, would I recommend this scooter? Well, uh, definitely. Uh, of course, there are alternatives out there. I've, I didn't try the alternatives, I've just tried this. And for the price, it's a very good, durable, safe and fun scooter. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding the ES1, really, really let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very, very glad to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve our videos. And I hope I'll see you, yes, you who is watching this behind your phone or behind a computer screen. I don't know, in our next video. Bye-bye.